Alright guys, today I have a uh, new video for you guys. This is on my Droid Razor Max and I want to show you how to install the new Eclipse ROM that got released today. And I'm quite excited about it. I've been waiting for this ever since the Jelly Bean OTA got uh, leaked out there. So let me just kind of go over some prerequisites with you on this uh, install. So first we're going to go into settings and this is a different ROM running right now. This is like Whizbean or something like that. But uh, let me just show you some prerequisites. So you want to be on, like I said, Droid Razor or Droid Razor Max, which is the XT912. Uh, you also want to be running Android version 4.1.2, which is Jelly Bean. Um, so if you meet those two prerequisites, we're going to go down here. You also have to have um, root access with, with Super User right there. And you need to have SafeStrap installed, which I have SafeStrap um, 3.11 installed. So first thing what you're going to do is just uh, reboot the device. So reboot. And we're going to reboot into um, SafeStrap and go through the install on that. Go ahead and make sure you guys already have the ROM downloaded into your SD card. Um, and make sure you know where it is at on your SD card so you can find it in SafeStrap to install it. When SafeStrap reboots here, what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to the bottom and this little uh, menu button right down here is going to light up and we're going to hit that to enter uh, SafeStrap Recovery which is based on Twerp Recovery uh, which is Team Win Recovery Project. So as soon as we see the splash screen, we're going to hit that button down there, and there we go. We should go ahead and boot into SafeStrap. Um, so let's just let this thing boot up, and I'll show you the rest of it. All right, so right now I'm on ROM slot 2, which is what I've been running on, and that's what that was, Whizbean. I'm actually going to go up here, and uh, I'm going to change ROM slot 1 to activate it and change it to, let's see, go back in there and set nickname, we're going to change it to Eclipse. So we'll just, just so I know what I've got in this slot. So Eclipse, there we go, go, is now named Eclipse. I can go back and it's called Eclipse right here and it is activated ROM slot 1 activated. You can see on top it's also in green so we can go back on the bottom. Come on. Alright, so ROM slot 1 still activated. That's what we want to be on. I'm going to go ahead and do some wipes on it. So you're going to go to wipe. We're going to do wipe cache. Swipe to wipe. Delvic. Swipe to wipe. Factory reset. Swipe to wipe. This one takes a little bit longer here. There we go back. And then system. Swipe to wipe. Also takes I think a little bit longer. Oh, not too bad. So now we have a clean slate on ROM slot 1. We can go to installs and just see what I got to go to. I got to go up a couple levels here. Go up and up. And then I have mine on SD card extension. I'm sorry, back one more again. Oh, too far. Installs. Let's go up a level. Where is it at? It's called down here SD card extension. And then I'm under downloads. And Eclipse right here. So Eclipse Razor Jelly Bean V1.0 Zip. Click on that. Make sure it is still listed up here on top, which it is. And then swipe to flash this operating system. Now I'm almost positive that the Google applications are included in this. We will see when we start up uh, the ROM. This is, uh, like I said, done by, uh, it's Eclipse ROM. This is done by a developer called Nitroglycerin33. Makes awesome, awesome ROMs. I've used his ROMs on all of my devices. I really love them. They're normally full featured. Nothing's not broken on them. Everything functions super fast, smooth, customizable, really nice. And he always does updates on them and adds new tweaks and stuff into them. So I really love his support on these ROMs. They're very, very good. So let's let this thing flash and then I'll show you the rest of it here. All right, so it says installed system, uh, setting system link and permissions, install complete. Uh, so everything should be completed there. All we have to do now is hit the reboot system now right here. And it's going to go through the boot options and reboot and everything. Um, now, I would give this device at least 10 minutes to boot up on first, first boot. 
Uh, it's got to rewrite your cache, your Dova cache, and uh, just kind of get everything oriented on it, get everything set how it wants to be set. So be really patient on the first boot here. It's going to take a while. Um, I just want to show you guys the boot animation. This is a safe strap there. We can bypass it by hitting the search button down at the bottom or just wait 10 seconds and it'll bypass. Um, also, if you guys don't have root access and you don't have SafeStrap installed, I have YouTube videos on that. Please uh, check my channel or check uh, my website at rootjunkie.com, right up here above my thumb. There you go. This is the Eclipse ROM boot animation. This is pretty much his standard boot animation. He has had other ones in there, but this is a pretty standard one that he likes to have on the ROMs. So I'm going to let this thing boot, and then we'll show it to you once it boots up. All right, so we've booted up there. It took about four minutes or so to go through the uh, boot animation and sit there and watch it loop for a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start here and go through my settings. Um, I'm not going to do these right now just so I can just show you the guys that are around without any of this stuff. So we're just going to kind of skip through it. We can set it up later. Um, shouldn't take too long here. All right, looking good. Finish setup. And first thing I notice is you do have a battery percentage right up there on top, which is pretty nice in, in the battery bar up there. I do like that feature built into my ROMs. Um, so let's kind of go through this. Um, well, first we got some pull downs, so we have some quick toggles up here on the top, which is quite nice. They do not scroll, it doesn't look like. Maybe that'll be a setting you can mess with, but. Um, we can clear that away. Let's pull down our pull down again. Let's see. This gets us into settings and about phone. And obviously, there you are. 2.1 or 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. Um, so that all looks good. Your web top, your 3.0 web top is in there. Um, let's see what other settings we have in here. Your standard settings through here. Standard, standard. Doesn't look like he's added Eclipse settings. Normally that is in here. This is the first build of this device, so it probably will be added later. Um, here's your your toggle or your scrolling here through your drawer. Let's go down to your app drawer and see what he's included. Um, so you have your camera, basic. Okay, so so like I said, the G gaps are included in this because there is Gmail already right there. Um, this does have Super Sue as your root permission application. Um, you do have Terminal and Smart Actions included in this, along with your Google Google Play right there. Um, so pretty standard applications. Nothing too fancy added into this thing yet. This is his first build of this, like I said. I'm sure he'll be adding more to it as it goes. Let's check out your widgets. Um, looks pretty much like the standard stuff yeah pretty standard there for your widgets um, what I do want to show you guys though is like Gmail oh, I'm not logged in that's right well a lot of his applications I think are inverted um, I'm trying to remember what other ones he said was inverted maybe messaging is inverted so whatever was white is now black so it's just a kind of cool looking uh, interface when it comes down to that kind of stuff see I'm not signed into anything so you're not gonna be able to see any of this yeah so a lot of his stuff is inverted, that's what I did read online. Again, you can see that stuff in the video description. Uh, I'm going to put links to his form down below. Um, so you guys can read uh, what he's actually done to the to the ROM here. So I think it looks pretty sweet, pretty standard here. Um, let's see what we got for a launcher on this thing. So this is system settings. Let's see here. It's wallpapers. I think he normally includes some custom wallpapers, but it doesn't look like he did yet. So like I said, this is kind of new for him, so first build and all, he's going to be uh, tweaking it and adding adding a lot more to it. But so far it looks pretty sweet. I'm going to be messing with this thing and see what all he's uh, added into it, uh, customization wise and all that kind of stuff. So hope you guys like this little install video. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, please uh, check out, like I said, the video links down below the description. Um, please check my website above. It's got some good, good information on it right there. You can subscribe right down here or check me out on Twitter or Facebook. I uh, hope you guys like this, and uh, we'll catch you guys another time. Thanks.